Hey, welcome to another Wanzer Review with a Wanzer Review. So, yo, today we're taking a look at The Mandalorian and not just The Mandalorian. I got a few pops, too. Like, uh, The Penguin from uh, uh, Billy Madison. I got Stephen King over there. And I picked up Spyro, even though Spyro wasn't in there. Or Aku Aku. They're on my PlayStation with Crash Bandicoot Racing Crash. But the video is more about Mandalorian. With the Mandalorian, we didn't just get one Mandalorian. We've got two Mandalorians. And the only reason why we have two is because let's just say this one was fucked up. And just so y'all know, this is an 18 or over fucking channel. So if you don't fucking like the fucking cussing, get the fuck up out of here, okay? Fuck off. Anyway, two of the Mandalorians in their great, great carbonized form. But let's just say if you're looking at this Mandalorian, it had a whole bunch of paint in the visor, which this one does not. And I'm very happy about that. I'm a happy boy. Look at that belt on Juggernaut. It looks so fucking good. Ugh. Anyway, you need to get a Mandalorian. And what makes my Mandalorian cooler than a lot of the other ones that is carbonized, if you can't already tell, I got two pistols. And that shit is dope as fuck. Go for it. Get it. It's worth it. I think so. Oh, and just so y'all know, I went ahead and picked up the Deadpool. I'm sorry, Deadpool uh, head pull figure with the big pull truck. So I have, you know, the regular Deadpool. I mean, I'm sorry, head pull with the red uh, flag and the green truck. And this one over here is a blue truck, white flag with the, you know, the head pull with a black on its eyes. This one over here doesn't have the black on its eyes. And that shit is stupid. It should never happen. But whatever. What are you going to do about it, right? Ugh, sorry for the noise. That's my uh, floor. I'm standing up. But anyway. That's pretty much it for one's review. I haven't really watched any like superhero shows or anything that like that. If I'm missing it, I didn't see Mandalorian. I really don't give a fuck to be honest with you. I just like the way he looks. I'll watch it. I heard it's okay, but at the same time, I heard it was safe for Star Wars. So you know, what do you really want? Star Wars Nine sucked ass, and I haven't even watched it yet. I made sure to see every single spoiler I could. Movie sucks ass and y'all can throw that in the comments if you want that i said star wars sucks ass and i didn't watch it go for it let's see what we type out to each other right <laughs> we're friends you're a subscriber and i'm a video guy so let's see what happens it's like now nah, i'm playing but um yeah uh that's pretty much a one's review i don't have much else to show you besides you know my little pop wall if you know if you look at my older videos my pop wall went all the way up so, if we're coming back to that, we'll see what happens. Oh, take that back. Berserker Squanchy. I did just pick him up. He's actually the newest pop I just got. I just like the way he looks. I like the the big, big small guys. Because they're small because they're, they're pops. But they're big because that's how big they are in real life. But Tiny the Tiger is dope as hell. Tiny the Tiger. Just so y'all can see what he looks like. I love Crash Bandicoot. I love original PlayStation games, even though I didn't beat them as a kid. Shit was hard. My little, my little Deadpool just chilling up here with a new Deadpool gun. He looks good. My Mez, oh no, no, Mafex, not Mezco. Mafex Spider-Man over here chilling in the same pose I showed him to you in. Because I'm not trying to fuck with him too much more. Because I played with him for a week. I literally played with him for a week. He's such a great figure, man. You should definitely get him. So good. I love my whole collection. It's great. This is my whole collection now. Like there is like like three to four other Marvel Legends downstairs. I know it's dark up here. I don't got time to put. Actually, you know what? Fuck that shit. It's a wands of review. <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. There's my little old school Bethesda butt sticker on my candle. I put two of them together. That candle is done. This candle is done, ski. But yo, say all my people who picked up that Wall Greens exclusive Hulk. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The thing, you know, <laughs> we got a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, Hit Monkey's over here too, y'all. I forgot to show y'all Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey. Yo, we picked up Hit Monkey when we got the the big pool figure. Sorry for the floor again. I apologize. 
I do want Red Hulk. That's going to fucking happen, definitely. Um, what else is out right now? Oh, Spawn. Mortal Kombat Spawn. I think I want to wait on that figure because I feel like um, Todd McFarlane's definitely probably going to make a comic book line of that figure of Spawn after how good this got, uh, it does in, you know, at the stores. So it's like, why buy a figure that I really don't care about when they're going to come out with a comic book version later? So I will wait if I'm wrong. Then I guess I'll be picking up the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn figure. But if I'm right, I'll be getting the figure that I want. So we'll see what happens. It's all good. Matter of fact, I'm grabbing a little sip of this junk. Long Island. Blackberry. The shit. Mm. Shout out to my cats. I miss y'all. That's Tigger. And that's Big Mo, a.k.a. Cosmo. Yes, like Cosmo and Wanda from the Fairly Odd Parents. You damn right. That picture is from when I was in high school. Those cats, man. But Tigger, he lasted till, I was, till he was 21. That was my boy. Cosmo, he didn't live till he was only 16. And he's a, a Maine Coon. And I think Tigger is just like a tabby. I just thought I'd throw that in there. All right, anyway, guys, you know, pick yourself up a more, uh, uh, <laughs> Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. It's definitely worth it. Um, right now, if you live in the Marvel, I'm sorry, wow, Marvel. If you live in the Maryland area, Third Eye Comics has the regular versions of the Mandalorian. Had it in my hand the other day, but since I bought the more expensive, there's no reason for me to buy the regular version. There's no way. There's no way I'm doing that. After having this issue, God. And real quick, just so y'all know, with the whole eBay situation, if you have a problem with an eBay purchase, definitely talk to the person and don't get too belligerent with them. Let them know the situation. Let them think about it. Even if it takes a day, come back to it more fresh and not as mad because it is pretty much ridiculous coming at them so upset and not letting them try to figure it out and help you because that's kind of how I was. But I had to let him know that I was just upset. I told him I was upset like five times in my conversation with him, apologizing. But I didn't cuss at him. I didn't throw any slurs. I, I didn't talk about his mom. I wasn't racist or anything stupid. But I just, you know, let him know that, yo, bro, I'm sorry. Let's do that, you know, the new Mandalorian. So I get that extra pistol. And I got both of the big guns, too, that come on the side right here but i don't like that gun even though that gun's probably badass in the show it's probably that crazy gun but i don't care about that i want the two pistols reminds me of jango fett i like that a lot more and look at deadpool over there just looking cool as fuck with his killmonger helmet on dog pool two head pool a squirrel pool and some fucking green and hobgoblin grenades with his boy bob and cable hit monkey over there man this is my collection, boy. Like, this is it. This is the only little bit of figures I need. I don't need the other ones. The other ones don't matter. Like, for real. Like, if that's how you are when you collect, just collect like that, yo. Do not collect because it's cool. Don't collect that figure because it's hot. Don't collect that figure because, oh, it might be worth some later. I'm telling you, you're going to hate it later on. It's exactly how I got. So, I'll talk to y'all later. I don't even know what to name this video. Like, this ain't even a Mandalorian like review. This is just like, yo, Mandalorian's dope as fuck. Carbonize, get him. That's pretty much all I can say. Get him. He's 50 bucks. I don't know what else to say. Okay, this figure right here was like almost 60 with sh with fucking shipping and taxes. I had a three dollar discount and I used it. Sorry for kind of stuttering, but I have been drinking. This is my third drink. But uh, I thought I'd make this review. It's been almost, it's been what three weeks since I made one. Mando, you looking dope as fuck. Oh, you know what else I bought? I'll take y'all to my bathroom real quick. Why not? Y'all don't like a little while. Sorry. Got to turn the light off. <laughs> the Wong's Review has made it to the bathroom. <laughs> hey, Listerine and aloe. But nah, for real, I picked up Gengar. He does a little random tongue thing. I thought that was cool. 
I got my Perry the Platypus in here. I don't know if y'all know I like Perry the Platypus. He's dope as hell. Phineas and Ferb. If they make a poseable one, I will get them. But yeah, Gengar, my favorite Pokemon of all time. If they made a pop of him, I'd pick him up. This was 15 bucks on eBay with a little bit of extra for that stupid ass tax they have. But yes, Gengar is in. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.